face mask. The next face mask, <laughs> ah. the L'Oreal Volume Mitten. Um, next face mask, <sighs> mask. Hello and welcome. I'm very, very unnecessarily chuffed with myself for collecting a whole box of empties over the past couple of months. Um, I'm quite bad at finishing products. I'm easily distracted by the next promise and pretty packaging and everything that goes with it. So the products that are here in this box definitely made some impression on me. Okay, I'm going to start. There's a lot of hair, body and skin products and a couple of makeup products since they seem to last forever. So I will start with hair products. Shampoo and conditioner duo that I've been using for the past, sure, probably six to eight weeks has been Pureology Pure Volume Shampoo and Matrix, oh it has a long name, Matrix Total Results Amplify Volume Conditioner. Um, love both, will definitely use both of them any day of the week. That's about it. If a shampoo works, it works. If you have fine hair that gets greasy easily, um, I will definitely recommend these two. I finished three hair treatments in the last three or four months. I just swap them around and alternate them as the mood strikes. So the first one is the Swatchkov Gliss. Ultimate Oil Elixir Structure Build Up Mask. That's very long. This mask from Gliss is one of those that feels that it actually does a real job because your hair doesn't feel very slick or smooth even after, you know, that very slippery conditioner feeling. It doesn't even feel that way. So I am assuming and imagining how the proteins are penetrating and all kinds of wonderful things. The second one is the Matrix Oil Ritual Mask with Moringa Oil Blend. Um, this is a very nourishing, very rich, intense um, treatment. I did use it much more when my hair was long, which is why the only reason why it took me so long to finish, because I really enjoyed this. So if you have dry, frizzy hair, then this would be a good one. I'm now starting to think I actually featured this, the Moroccan Oil Hydrating Treatment Mask, in my previous empties video because there was so little left. But then I cut my hair and I actually probably got about six to eight more uses from that little bit that was left in the bottom. I can't say honorable today. There we go. A bit of an honorable mention. Um, <laughs> it just smells so amazing. It's, oh, I can't get enough. I asked the man whether he has any contributions towards the empties and I was quite surprised to see that he had finished the Armani Pour Homme. Um, because for some reason I didn't think this was his favorite. He just smells slightly different every now and then and I didn't bother asking what he was wearing every day. Um, so this gets a clear thumbs up. He has quite a few male perfumey things going on. I just go and put them in his cupboard and he gives me feedback. Um, so quite cool that he finished one. Two bath products. Chanel number no. 5, the foaming bath. I mean, it's so decadent. It smells so number no. 5, you can't even believe it. It's amazing. Um, very heavily perfumed, so if you have insanely sensitive skin, then this is probably not what you would want to, to bathe in. But I love it. Like before a night out, I liked using it. Even some nights just before bed, because I don't wear any perfume to bed. Um, oh, I just, it's amazingly decadent. I don't know if I would buy it again. I'm quite a, I go through bath products quite quickly. So whether I would pay Chanel price for it, I'm not too sure, but it's definitely a gift that I would love to receive over and over again. The next bath product is, oh, it's the Mio Fit for Life, Fit Skin for Life, Liquid Yoga Restorative Bath Soak. This stuff is incredible. It feels like medicine for your body. So I get to completely just switch off, zone out. Um, you can smell the, the essential oils in it. It's, oh, it's phenomenal. The recommendation says pour a good glug into the bath. And I definitely agree. You need quite a good quantity to get that intense spa medicine 
smell our stuff. Um, so I think I got about six baths out of this, with, which doesn't make it a very economical product. I suspect I've thrown away some bath and some body wash bottles, but one that I did keep was the Dove Purely Pampering Nourishing Body Wash. Um, I enjoyed it and I used it. I used this quite, I think I finished this more than a month ago already. It was quite wintry still, but it's not something I would buy again. It has quite a sweet vanilla scent that's just a bit much for me. Um, this I remember I used in the bath, so um, I wouldn't use it every night. I would just use it every now and then actually was standing there until I could finish it. Um, I do prefer the original Dove. I also finished a Nivea In Shower Moisturizer and I've only finished one since this launched which is flipping long ago and it's not because there's nothing wrong with it, I just completely forgot to use it. So I sort of found the last quarter of this in the cupboard and put it back in the shower and really did enjoy using it. It definitely does take the edge off. I get very itchy on my back and my arms um, and it definitely helps with that. I just always have to be careful not to get my hair in it. Um, I have a Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm and to be really honest this is the first Clinique skincare product that I've enjoyed um, and I finished every last bit of the cleanser. It's really effective. Um, it's gentle, nothing to complain about. The other cleanser is um, the REN number no. 1 Purity Cleansing Balm, which I also finished. Um, love this stuff as well. It seems that it's quite easy to impress me with a cleansing balm. I would use both of these any day. Um, and I would just recommend, if you haven't cottoned onto it yet, use your cleansing balms with a face cloth, not with a muslin cloth. Or try and rinse it off. A face cloth is the balm. It, I think I owe at least half of my current good skin to just a face cloth alone. I have three finished face masks. One is quite old. I actually forgot, it, it sort of fell down, fell out of the box in the cupboard and then I didn't see it. Um, but it's the Dr. Gobeck exfoliating mask with papaya enzyme. Brilliant, brilliant exfoliator. So gentle. It just felt like this didn't go very far but I definitely thoroughly enjoyed it and I think I should get myself one again. I can't seem to pronounce mask today. The next face mask is Ren Glycolactic Skin Renewal Radiance Mask. It's an old favorite. It's nothing new about it. I'm sure you've read about it somewhere. It is really as good as everyone says. Last face mask is the Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Self Foaming Mask. I was really, really in two minds about this mask because it stung the living daylight out of my skin every single time I used it. It never got better. Oh, it did get slightly better if I applied a thinner layer, which is brings me to my next point. I think I used this five times. It's 30 mole. Well, six mole at a time. It doesn't seem unreasonable for a mask. Um, I just expected it to last a bit longer. And while my skin looked really great every time I used it, I did worry about the intense digging. It was really, really quite intense. So I'm having a flashback of showing this in my previous empties video. I'm not too sure. Maybe it was a favorites video. If I did, please excuse me. I obviously thought it was almost finished. But the next item is a makeup item and it's Estee Lauder Double Wear Light Foundation. I wear shade 01 or Intensity 1 it's called. Um, I did think it was finished about two months ago and it just kept on going. It's amazing value. Um, I started using this in January. It's the end of August. I obviously use some other things in between but say we eliminate two months worth in this last about six months which is I think is great for foundation. The last item is a mascara which I absolutely loved. It's the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes So Couture, the purple tube with the gold lid. Um, love the definition, separation, length. Not so much volume for a mascara that claims to be, you know, part of a volume family. Um, but generally speaking, I was really, really happy. Except that I think it lasted about eight months before it started drying out and clumping. 
So even though it's a, a drugstore mascara you can buy it in the pharmacy and in clicks and everywhere, um, I would expect it to last the three months that a mascara's life is, at least. Oh, just found another product in my box. It's the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eyelid Primer for your eyeshadow and under eye concealer. It's not a full size. I don't even know the size of it. I would say it's max 5 ml. Um, and I think I used this thing for almost two months. It was amazing. It does a really good job as well. So um, I am thinking of getting the full size of it. Okay, let me know if you enjoyed this. Then I will continue filling up boxes with empty products as I finish them. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I'll chat to you again soon.